Our next quest takes us to the Temple of Shagoth. Let's type quest info to remind us of what we needed to kill. A confused acolyte. Hmm, let's have a look. I haven't been to this area before. A zombie acolyte. A raggedy zombie priest. A loyal worshipper. Hmm. Now, to go up or down, let's type scan. So up is a living priest and two down is a zombie priest. Well, I'm going to try going up. Whoa, no, that was probably not such a good idea. This is going to be a fight. I will lose. I'm going to flee. Right, well, I've ended up dying. This is my first death. As you can see, we get the message, you die. You have a strange feeling. You see your own dead body from above. Your spirit floats to the Alor Hospital to find a new body. We can type help CR for information on corpse retrieval. Typing look, we can see that we are in the Alorian Adventurers Clinic. Let's go down. Trying to go down, we get the message you can't go down while resting. Let's try standing. Ah, there we go. Now we can go down. Looking at the bar along the bottom, we can see that we only have 61 health. Typing equipment shows us that we're, well, naked. And typing inventory shows us we have nothing. Hmm. Well, there was a healer, one north of recall. Typing heal at the healer shows the list of what this healer can do for us. I'm going to type heal heal a couple of times to restore my health up to full. Now, how am I going to get my corpse back? Well, the message that we got did say we should look at help CR. Well, that's quite a long help file. Let's just scroll back up to the top. Unfortunately, on Ardwolf, death is a way of life. When it comes to retrieving your corpse and continuing forward, a number of options are available to you. You can type owned, short for owned where, to find the location of your corpses in the game. If you have access to the newbie channel, you can ask there and a helper, advisor or another player may be able to help you out. If you get no response after a minute or two, ask again, but please don't spam the question over and over. If you no longer have access to the newbie channel, you could try asking for help on one of the global channels such as Question or Gossip. However, players are not obliged to help. Hmm, that's okay. I still have access to the newbie channel. Let's continue reading. Some players have marked themselves as willing to help retrieve corpses by adding CR to their from field. You will find those players by typing who from CR. Again, these players are not required to assist you. Corpses last for three hours of online time. If you quit the game, the corpse quits with you and the timer stops. If nobody is available to help, another option is to quit and try again later. The Ivarian Head Priestess in the Alorian Temple, a few steps north of Recall, can retrieve your corpse. However, you may only use her services three times. Use Pray for Corpse at the Priestess to retrieve your corpses and or check how many times you may still use her services. If all else fails and you cannot retrieve your corpse yourself, you can get it back by spending one trivia point. To do this, go to Ravi's shop in the temple area north of Recall and type TP Spend Corpse. This will bring all of your corpses back to that room. Joining a clan which has a morgue means that you will have use of that morgue. A clan with a morgue will have all of its members' corpses appear in that room instead of where they died. Above all, remember that courtesy, patience and politeness will go a long way towards finding help. 
not only with CRs but overall on the mud. Typing owned shows that I have my Academy Graduation Medal, my Daily Blessing Campaign Reset Token, my Alorian Academy Portal and the Hacked Corpse of Kara, all in a spiral stairway inside the area of Shagoth. Well, I know exactly how to get to that room. I'm going to try and get the corpse myself. Now, if you will remember, I had to cross water, so I will need to get a boat or use a fly potion. It will probably be a good idea to get a light so I can see where I'm going. Typing find all gives us a list of the services in Alor that might actually help. We shall go to the Alchemy Supply Store and get ourselves a fly potion. This will allow us to cross the water without any problems. I might also buy a potion of invisibility while I'm there, if I can find one. Typing run two potions will take us directly to the potion shop. Looking at the inventory, we can see that the Griffin's Blood Potion is number 13. Typing pot search in Viz, we can see that there is a clear elixir in an area called Canyon that is of level 5. There's a shop two rooms to the west. Typing list in this room, we can see that there is a clear elixir. Typing appraise two, we can see that this potion will give us a level 14 spell of invisibility and detect invisibility. I'm going to buy two of these. Typing AF now, we can see that I can fly, I am invisible, and I can detect invisibility. Alright, let's go back to recall and see if we can get my corpse back. Assuming I can get to the area, that is. Fantastic. Alright, let's head north and scan up. Up from here is the living priest. Where my corpse is. As I am invisible, this living priest cannot see me. Thankfully. All I need to do now is type get corpse. Typing inventory, we can see that I have my hacked corpse in inventory. Typing examine corpse, we can see all of my items are right there. I haven't actually lost anything. Now this mob did attack me before so to be on the safe side I'm just going to go down one room. It is never a good idea to idle in a room with an aggressive mob. Now that I have my corpse back I need to get my items out of the corpse. A corpse is essentially a container that holds all of your items. So to get your items out of your corpse you just need to type Get all corpse. Fantastic. The message comes up, the hacked corpse of Kara has decomposed. This means that I have all my items from my corpse. If that message does not come up after getting all your items from your corpse, that means you have left something behind, quite possibly something you were unable to see, or you were unable to hold the first time you typed get all corpse. I do have a potion of invisibility active at the moment, so if I did have something invisible in my corpse, I would have automatically gotten it. If I didn't have the potion up and there was an invisible item in my corpse, I would not have been able to get it as I would not have been able to see it. Typing wear all re-equips all of my items and typing EQ shows that. I still don't have any items for my fingers yet but everything else seems to be in place. Alright, maybe this time we're going to go down.